Well, good morning, Coach. What an honor to be with you this morning. It's good to be here. Glad to see that garnet on. All right. You notice the garnet in gold? So let's start with the, the movie, the film. You've done a lot of interviews throughout the years. You've done, you know, there's been books before. Why was this documentary something that you wanted to be a part of and wanted to, to kind of have a big to-do around this as well? John Corey produced this. Now, he's a great producer. Uh, he, he did the Peyton Manning movie, I okay, mean, yeah. documentary. He did the one on Lat Latner and has done many World War II um, uh, of these. Mm -hmm. And so he went to Florida State and he was there during the uh, dynasty. And so now that's been 20 something <laughs> years ago, he decided he wanted to do something for his school. You know? mm -hmm. So he called me and asked if he could bow down the Bowden dynasty. Well, yeah, it's darn right. And so he did it, and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. What's your message? What are you hoping that people take away? Whether you're a Florida State fan or not, I think right. people are going to like and, this. And you don't have to be an FSU fan, you know? It's nice if you are. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy, but I mean, it, sh it, sh it shows you that you can win and do it right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to cheat. You don't have to cut corners. You know what? Mm -hmm. You don't have to hurt people to do it right and uh, get the result that you want. You know, and that's, that's our dynasty. Mm -hmm. The dynasty, a lot of people wonder what you're talking about, a dynasty. It's a case of us from 1987 to 2000 going 14 straight years as a top five team and uh, winning 10 or more games a year. Now, nobody, the next closest to that, five. <laughs> yeah. Oklahoma did it five years back in 50. Well, and you, you've said this a lot. Your faith is what you think helped contribute to that successful oh. season. There's a lot of people praying for their teams, oh, yeah. playing for the, you know, praying for their players. What do you mean by that? Well, that's, that's a good point because I, I've never believed you could pray for a victory. I, I just... I, a lot of I, people I know, do. I know they do. I have to watch myself sometimes <laughs> when I was coaching, you know. <laughs> but uh, again, I just never felt like God would care who won a doggone ball yeah, game, you right. know? But, and, and so, so what do you, well, what, what I prayed for, and I prayed with our boys before the game. Mm -hmm. Number one, God, I pray that nobody will get hurt, and I pray that we'll do our best. That's all I could ask for, you know? When did you know that you were going to be more than a football coach and that you were kind of taking this role as a life coach, essentially, too? I mean, did you own that responsibility kind of pretty quickly? I, hey, I've known it all my life. Mm -hmm. It's a good point. You know, a lot of times you'll let somebody say, when did you become a Christian? Mm -hmm. Well, see, if somebody asked me, when did you, I, I, I don't know. That's all I've ever known. Mm -hmm. That's the way my mother and di dad raised me. They, ra I, they took me to church every Sunday and every Sunday night, every Wednesday night, every time they opened the doors, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't want to go. I was like any other kid. I want to stay home and play, you know. Yeah. But they did, and I'm glad they did, you know, because I found out what's important in life. And uh, so, so I've always felt like, well, there's no doubt in my mind. Now, a lot, some will disagree because they, everybody has their own philosophy. That we're put here for a reason. I don't think I don't think you just happen to be there. I don't think I just happen to be, or he happened to be there. I think we I think God has a plan for us. And as we go through life, we find out what that plan is. And if we do, we'll be we'll be happy. We'll be happy. And until we find out, then we're gonna be struggling, you know. And uh, so. So anyway, when, when John wanted to do this film, uh, that was fine with me, and he, was, he must have interviewed about 50 or 60 people, you know, yeah. and uh, got a lot of different opinions and uh, worked it into a pretty dadgum good movie. I mean, I had no idea it would turn out like it is, you know. Pretty dadgum, I love it. Last question, the book and the movie and the film and your story, it's a lot about success, but I know there's been a lot of disappointment, sure. defeat as well. How yeah. do you encourage people going through some of those same frustrations in life, maybe not at the, the grand scheme that you did, but that's just as important, I would think. Well, uh, yeah, that's a great point. I, I speak all the time, so I know what I spoke on. But the one, one point I speak on a whole lot is that we're going to have problems. Now, somebody thinks, uh, oh, I got a problem, man. I've got a problem. So why not? No, you, you're no different from anybody else. Everybody has a problem. But, but we all have problems. So as you get people who can solve problems, make it. People that can't solve them don't make it, you know. All your CEOs and your presidents, they're, they're guys that could, could solve a problem, you know. Faith can help solve a problem, and that's Yeah, and, and faith, faith is a big part in that to me. 
thank you so much for giving us some time. I know you're a very busy man That's this right. weekend. It's thank you. It's a, it's a great film, a lot of stars in it, and uh, congratulations on a life well lived. Well, we're good to see you, and we're proud to have someone from Florida State All do right. what you're doing, and we thank All you. Right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, hon.